Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I'm Patrice. Please be sure to look at the other content and if you enjoy that content, please remember to like it and also subscribe to my channel. In addition, we have a Facebook group, Craftable Things. We would love if you would join us there as well. For my returning subscribers, welcome back y'all. So today's video is going to be, I've already unboxed it so it's not technically an unboxing but I've already unboxed it and we are going to look at a few things so about four months ago I purchased the Brother SE 600 embroidery and sewing machine and it's been in the corner just patiently waiting for me to get the nerve to take it out of the box and to dive in so today's the day I recently gave the option of either having embroidery or vinyl. I don't know what possessed me to offer those options. However, the person chose embroidery. Embroidery looks very, very professional and it is for a company. So I'm about to get this started. I researched a little bit and I do want to shout out um, I looked at how Angela Jasmina kind of does her embroidery business and if you guys are interested in doing any embroidery business, Etsy, that sort of thing, she has a wonderful channel and she's very, very open with her process. And I looked at a few of her videos, but for more specific help, I looked at Ada Productions and he has so many videos specifically tailored for this machine from setup to um, embroidering on different types of material. So I did get a chance to review a few of his videos and also DIY Ninja. She also has a few. She has this machine and she posted a few tutorials on this machine and if you all are interested I am going to have the links to their channels below so that you can possibly learn how to embroider if it's something that you are interested in. Alright guys so we're about to check out what comes with this machine and we are going to do our first test together. So let's get started. So here's our machine and I must say anything that's brand new looks so beautiful and I'm super excited, a little nervous but excited. So when the machine comes, it comes with this attachment onto it and this is the sewing attachment. I have already placed the embroidery attachment and this is it right here. There's a little lever underneath and you can easily take it off and put it back on. Okay, so this is what we have. It comes with, I believe this is a cover for the machine. But it is a cover for the machine. And y'all know, I need to check to see what type of material it is, if it says, but it doesn't say what type of material because I may want to personalize this. So I will have to check. All right, so we have that. And then we have our hoop and this machine comes with a 4x4 four four hoop so this is your embroidery space. If you are looking for a machine that can do larger images you may want to consider another uh, machine maybe the PE800 or other uh, embroidery machines but this one this is the largest hoop that is able to be used with this machine and I'm perfectly fine with that for now. I'm not sure how far I want to take the embroidery side of my business. So we'll see. Also, these are the tools. It has some scissors, extra needles, a brush. Uh, there's so many different things that come into netting, into this packet. But this is definitely important. In addition, it has some feet for the machines, different 
seat options for the machines and it actually comes when you take it out of the box it comes with the sewing foot okay so I removed this and put on the embroidery foot okay and if you guys are interested I will have more technical uh, videos showing exactly how I did that however in the meantime if you want to check out either I'm, I'm not sure if Adam I did not see it on his page um, but I know he probably does have um, how you can can change it and also DIY ninja for certain okay then it also comes with pre round bobbin which is very important you can um, wind it easily there's an option up here for you to just go ahead and um, wind, wind your own bobbin however I prefer the pre-wound I even ordered extra from Amazon to come in but this comes with the machine okay you have three of them and then also I, this does not come with the machine however I purchased this embroidery thread it's scent thread from amazon.com and it was it came in a pack of 40 I have these out because I will be using these for the image that we will be embroidering all right and something that does not come with the machine but you definitely need it this is of course most of you know a USB flash drive and this is for you to transport your PS or DST files into your brother sewing machine and you will be able to embroider okay so for those of you who may be looking at this and interested you cannot take a regular file and just upload it a PNG or SVG or any of those files and upload it and think that you are going to embroider the file needs to be digitized and this particular machine works with PES and DST files okay so the file that we will be using today I've already had it digitized I don't know how to digitize at this time so I did pay someone about twelve dollars to digitize the file for me however that is something that I am going to learn I have downloaded the Embrilliance software and that is for embroidering and I am going to learn how to get that done. All right, so you guys will probably be on this journey with me figuring out sewing, learning new things and I'm really really nervous but I'm excited about this. All right, so I'm going to get ready to turn the machine on and we are about to get started. Hi guys, so we are going to turn our machine on and we turn it on on the side and it is lighting up. And so I purchased some stabilizer. This is tearaway stabilizer. I also have water soluble stabilizer and I have, I ordered uh, the cutaway stabilizer okay this is what will go on the back because I don't really feel comfortable embroidering directly onto the shirts at this time so I am going to make a patch okay and on the back once the patch is done I'm going to put heat and bond on the back and I can just press the patch onto the shirt alright so I touched our touch screen this is touch screen so this says the carriage of the embroidery unit will move keep your hands etc away from the carriage and this is the carriage right here and it did move a little bit and so I'm gonna click OK and then we are going to get ready to upload our image now we still have to thread our machine okay so right here this is where the embroidery thread will go or the spool will go there and here this is if you were doing your bobbin if you were winding your bobbin we don't have to do that so I'm not really worried about that I do want to get the machine set up so I do have a little sewing experience and I wouldn't really say it's experience but I, I used to have a sewing machine when I was a lot younger and I enjoyed sewing but I haven't done it in years so we are going to see how that's gonna go alright so the bobbin goes in here 
and so there's a little there's a little lever right here that you'll push and then it pops up okay so I'm going to remove this one and then I am going to place our bobbin here and then you are going to then bring it around and then it goes underneath I guess so I wanted you to see it a little bit better so I placed the bobbin in and there are arrows here to show you exactly what you need to do okay so we are going to follow the arrows not sure if you see the little arrows there and we are going to go around and then we are going to keep following the arrow and then there we have it all right so it's all set and I'm going to replace the cover and it just snaps right back into place okay. I guess so I am now going to get ready to insert our USB into the slot and the slot is over here on the side and once you have it in all you're going to do is you are going to click the USB button that's right there in the corner and then your files will come up so I'm going to click onto the embroidery files and this is the image that I will be embroidering today so then I'm just going to click onto that click set and this gives you the area where your machine is where your machine will be cutting okay so next what I want to do is let me just check the size 82 millimeters by 89.2 millimeters. So in inches, this will be like a three by three and a half. And I'm just gonna click the buttons to see what it does. I guess it's it's repositioning on the like how it's gonna be on the hoop. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But we are going to go with this. This is our first time, so we will see how this works. All right, and so I am going to click, I'm going to click OK. And these, this is just where you edit. You can move it around, but we are just making a patch, so I'm not really concerned with moving it around too much. All right, so. I think this is what we are going to do. Let me look at the thread. Just going to click OK and edit. And y'all, let's see how this is going to go. Okay, so we are going to be using the orange first. And so I need to take this off and we have our thread here and so I am going to take this off and this is the one that you put on top let me zoom out so you can see so we are going I took this off of this part right here okay and so I am going to put this here and then I am going to then put this back on top so I guess it, it holds it right all right so we are going to get ready to put our thread through and you want to make sure I didn't point out before but there is a little lever here that you pull down and you can pull it up anytime you are threading from what I've seen from other videos you want to make sure that that is in the up position okay so 
there are step-by-step -step instructions on where you need to be taking this thread in order to get it where um, inside of the needle okay so this is one and one you just pull the thread through there and then two it tells you to go down this way and then there are other arrows I'm just trying to hold it I don't want too much of thread to come up but this is three and then you have four and then there's a little hook there for where four is and that is what holds it together and then you will go down all right and then number six there is a little slot here and you are going to bring it through there and then you are going to let it fall right here and then you are going to wrap it around seven and then eight is over here on this side you can't see it and then you are going to press down and guys look at that it has threaded our needle okay so I'm just gonna pull this out as you guys saw I kept pulling out way too much of my thread but we got it done and the machine comes with these little scissors that you need these are the closed ones and you may want to get a few of these if you're like me I kind of lose everything so I'm just going to pull this out I have way too much thread here so I am going to knit this a little bit and then I'm going to pull out no, look at all this extra you guys can't even barely see that but look at all this extra thread I had coming through there but we did it y'all the machines that I used to use the sewing machine that I used to use was not this fancy all right so now we are going to get ready to get our hoop set up for the hoop again I'm using this stabilizer this is tearaway stabilizer and I'm just gonna make a patch and we are going to put heat and bond on it okay and so you loosen up your hoop there's a little knob with that screws in and out and you will be able to take that out easily and as you see so then I'm going to place the stabilizer on top like this and then I am going to and you want to make sure that you're matching up the arrows you don't want it to be on the wrong side you just want it to kind of match up and I'm going to match it this way and then I'm going to push this down make sure. and I'm using two pieces of stabilizers I saw one of my new embroidery mentors to it so I'm going to put to myself all right and then I'm pressing it down okay and now that I have that in and it seems nice and tight I am going to tighten the screw back up so then next we are going to push this under if you have your foot up this should be able to slide underneath with no problem okay with no problem at all and as you see it goes under nice and smooth okay so if you're doing shirts or anything I saw that you it's perfectly fine it's just the way that you position it and you kind of use this space for the extra material but today we are simply doing a patch and so in order to get this on we are going to simply there's two little slots here for these two knobs to fit into and then you just push it down and it is nice and secure all right so once we have that in place we are simply going to take that little lever and just push it down and now we have a green light which means that we are pretty much ready 
okay all right guys and so I am simply going to press our green button and we will see if we have this set up correctly fingers are crossed <coughs> Alright guys, so here is what we have so far. I mean, it was turning out to be a beautiful, beautiful patch. However, this tearaway stabilizer is not strong enough for this particular stitch. Okay, so I am going to have to replace this with the cutaway fabric and I will get this started again. Alright guys, so I rehooped the machine and I am just going to get ready to... Set it back up. All right. Nope, cancel. We are completely, we're doing a completely new, so I don't want to recall and resume the previous memory. Right, everything's how we want it to be. All right, so we're ready to go. We already have our thread threaded and we're just picking, well we're not picking up, but we are starting over. And this is the cut away stabilizer, meaning we have to cut it. Um, I do see a little bit here where it's not as tight as I think I want it to be, but we are going to go with it. Alright guys, so we are all done with threading the orange part of the design and now we need to change. It stopped for me and now I need to put in the white thread. Okay, so I'm just going to thread it the same way that I did the orange. Then I'm going to put our stopper on top. And this is so easy y'all, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions as you're going through. Alright, I'm always, seems like I'm always overdoing it with the thread. Just going to nip a little bit off because you don't need that much to start it. And I am going to push the foot down and now I'm going to this our little green go sign. And I think everything looks good. And so I'm just gonna get ready to stitch. Alright guys, so it's done with the white for now. We will be doing more white at the end but now we are going to add oops, now we are going to add the the um the light blue okay and then the light blue that's going to take about 14 minutes it tells you each step of the way how long to expect your machine to be going with each color. So we are going to put this here. I am going to, some people use this and some people don't. Um, I've noticed when I was watching some of the videos, we will use it because we are new. All right, so I'm gonna just thread it the same way, no different. And it's like once you do it one, like a few times, you get kind of used to how it goes. Which that has to be the coolest thing I'm going to snip it. Uh oh. Guys, look what I did wrong. I should have I should have lifted that up. You can't forget to lift it up because I think it causes like a little tension um while you're threading and so that light should have been on red. I'm just gonna redo this because that was not the correct thing to do to thread it that way. So I'm still learning y'all. 
And we are going to do that again so that it's not... I don't want that to have an effect on anything. And we are going to... Oh, now I'm going to put it down and then we are going to thread it and that is what we want it to do. That is what we should have did in the first place. Alright, and we are going to press our green button and it should start threading the light blue for 14 minutes. Alright guys, so the machine is telling me that the bobbin thread is almost empty, so I need to replace it. And I do have my other bobbin that came in. So I'm just going to replace the bobbin with this one. And so I, I'm going to lift it up, push this back, and then slide this up. And it comes out so nice and easily and I'm going to snip this because I should have snipped it before I rolled all of this out but I'll show you guys right now so this is what it looks like now not too bad I think here is tighter here I might not have had my bobbin in securely so that could be why there looked like a little bit of the white was coming through. So I'm going to open up this. I forgot to put this on before. And so, yep, it's down to the wire. Focus. It's not focusing, but take my word. Y'all, it's, it's down to nothing. So I am going to put this back around and there we go. And then I'm just going to place this right back in how it was. We're going to clip this back on here and then I'm going to push it back so that it can just slide down. And now it's locked into place. Oh, but look, guys, see, this is what I did last time. I forgot to. I forgot to put the top back on the bobbin. So I'm gonna put this back here, snap it down, and then I am going to slide that under, connect it, and. Here we have it. And then I'm going to push that lever down and get ready to restart. All right guys, so we are all done with the light blue looks like, and now I need to add in the darker blue. And this is what we have so far. It looks okay. You see some things that I need to fix, but so far it's so good. I'm gonna remove that out. I don't want it to break my needle. And y'all, I really did not have to take the hoop out. I don't know why I took the hoop out, but I did not have to take the hoop out. So I'm going to put it back in. And 
Are going to push the foot down. I think I was supposed to have it down before, but y'all know that I barely know what I'm doing. So we are learning this together and we are going to press the green go button. So that's it. As y'all saw, it wasn't too bad. I did have a few hiccups, but there is a lot for me to learn with doing embroidery. And I'm excited. And I think this is going to be great. I will um, post in the community section the final embroidery for this particular client. So you guys can see how we started and how we finish. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it. And also, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. In addition, make sure you head over to Facebook and like Craftable Things on Facebook. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.